for clicking on this video. My name is Diana. I do this channel with my husband Kwame. But today's video, I will be showing you what I put in my daughter's boo basket, Halloween basket, whatever you want to call it. I decided to do that this year because we just have a lot to celebrate this year. So I want to make every single thing as special as I possibly can. So I wanted to share with y'all some ideas. Maybe you can get some ideas from this video. And also since moving down south, we're close to some of her big cousins that are here. They're not too much older than her, just a few years ahead of her. So I'm making them baskets as well. So I'm gonna show y'all what I put in all their baskets. Everything I got from the Dollar Tree actually, and my total came up to, I think about $40, but you know, you go to the Dollar Tree and you find a whole bunch of other stuff that you wanna put in your cart too. So that $40 didn't really cover everything that I got. It also had some other stuff, but you know, it's not the Dollar Tree anymore. It's like the Dollar 25 tree. Anyway, I'm rambling, but I wanna show y'all what I got and what how I'm going to make it look all cute for all the kids. Also, one thing that I'm also going to do is write their names on the baskets so that one, it just personalizes them, but two, it just makes everything more cute and aesthetic. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here's a quick overview. She has actually four cousins, but one of them is a newborn, so I'm not gonna make her a basket, but I'm gonna make the other three big kids and Milena a basket. So I'm gonna start over here. I got glue sticks so I can put in all of their baskets. I got all of them like a craft like this. So I have one that's a bat, another one that is, I guess, a witch. I don't know. <laughs> and then I got a little owl and another little girl witch lady. So that's what that is. And then this, this is necklaces. There are four of them, so I'm just gonna put four of them, in, or one of them in each of the four baskets. So what I also want to do, because these baskets, um, they're pretty big, I think that they're a good size. I like them because they had handles on them, so the kids, it'll be easier for them to carry. But I'm going to put some like decorative shred, is what it's called, <laughs> at the bottom. I'm gonna put yellow in the purple ones, and then I'm gonna put purple in the orange ones make it pop a little bit more I also got all of them stickers they had a bunch of different stickers but I think that the stickers are always fun for little kids so I got that as well and then this is for it there's only one boy so I got him a dinosaur he's two so he gets a dinosaur and then I also got all of them um, these like trick-or-treat bags so this one says Boo Crew. It reminded me of those shirts I saw before that said Cousins Crew. They don't have those shirts, but I might have to get them those as well. But that's what I'm putting in the baskets. They're all pretty much the same, except for the girls, the older girls. They can fit these socks. Milena, she's still a baby, so she can't fit the socks that they had. So I'm going to add these socks into the basket, maybe hang it over something cute like this so that they can put that in there. Um, also, a difference in Milena's bag, we went to the park the other day and she saw a jump rope and she just wanted to jump rope so much and we were just twirling it but I didn't want to take the jump rope because somebody else's. So I bought her a jump rope to put in hers and then I also got her a little hippo. This hippo looks scary now that I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. But she was playing with this hippo and the giraffe while we were in there. So she has a giraffe with her. She's taking a nap. So she clearly loves the giraffe. But I'm going to put the hippo in her basket. And then this is just another different type of stickers. Um, all of them have different stickers. And then the Boo Crew also came in different fonts and different colors. So this is another Boo Crew bag. This is another bag. Doesn't say boo crew, boo crew, but it's still pretty cute. And then this is the same boo crew bag. So now let's assemble it and see how it turns out. Trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time? Second chances, empty handed. You like the fast life, you like the drive, get down and dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you 
Results. I'm not gonna write the other kids' names on there because I want to keep their privacy, but I will write Melena's name on this one just so that I don't get confused. <laughs> okay, this is how they turned out. I'm really happy with them. It was a quick and easy project. It didn't cost too much, and I can do it for four kids of all different ages. So I hope that this gave you some ideas on what to put in your basket or if you're thinking about doing a basket, just know you don't have to put a whole bunch of money into it. It's just something fun for the kids and something that the adults can also enjoy just seeing how happy they are when they look at these baskets. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in our next video. Peace.